Hi, Ken Park here and welcome in this new video, this new inspired by, in this case, the person who inspired me is Jared Spacoli Ballen. Okay, so let's dive right into it. This is the trick that inspired me, not the front side 180, but this part. Was it really gnarly? Um, how, how, this is really just to gain confidence. It's really a low bang, and I'm already switching tricks. Thank you, Ollie, into that. Probably the first time I do this. Uh, so it's cool. Always a new trick. And you already see that I'm actually not using the right hand. I was somehow. I, I thought it was really a good hand. Um, but now I understand why it doesn't feel supernatural. This is another version that somehow feels better to me, so it's kind of a roast beef uh, grab cannonball because none of the grab have felt natural, so why not try with your both hands? <laughs> why? Because of that. Because it, 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 if you don't see people doing cannonballs, there's a proper reason for that. It sucks. So, this is the big boy. I really want to do it gradually, but it's not really possible in this case. What is kind of weird is you have to actually come with a weird angle. In this case, I again I just try to gain confidence. I want to do this specific trick, the half gap to tail. Probably the first time I do it, so it's always good to have that in mind. I decided to go for it, but not with the hand that I, I was supposed to. So I, with, uh, I went with the rose beef grab first because it is the one that felt the most natural to me. And the problem with this trick is that it's not especially hard. It's just it requires balls, and even if well, that's that's the problem. You have to go for it, and sometimes yeah, you hit the ground hard. You it's concrete. It's not a rough to run around, but it's. <laughs> Definitely not the most uh, comfortable to uh, explode yourself like this on the ground. And this might be cringy. Me yelling out of pain. But I kind of touched my little pinky, <laughs> which is, I don't know, it sounds stupid. And a uh, small heel bruise. All fine. All fine. And the thing is, I really had to go for it. It hurt it a little bit. But I'm really proud that I've done it. Oh, man. This was magic. <laughs> this was magic. Uh, if you speak French, you, you, I hope you enjoy that. The thing is, as soon as I fell, I knew either I stayed on the ground, either I went back up and tried it. Because you have a kind of a window where you are hooked on adrenaline and you are not going to be under pain, you're not going to think, and it's going to give you that little thingy that you need to actually learn the trick. Would I redo the trick? Yes, actually I would. It's it's a super scary trick in my opinion, but when I was doing it, as soon as you know you're gonna land it, which you know right off the bat if you're gonna fall or not, such a great feeling. Probably the roast beef gravity is more natural, and I, I know in this case I cannot cheat it because it's not the right grab. Um, which already happened. If you want to watch the first episode of Inspired by, uh, Inspired by, which was the one with Stephanie Nerding, I think. Already kind of mystic with the trick. Anyway, I, that doesn't matter. I'm really happy that I've learned a trick. I hope you actually like this kind of video. Little request: We are so close to hit 800 subscribers, 791 at this specific time. Which, by the way, is. Um, quarter before I should post because I had to read it, the whole thing. So if you could subscribe, like and comment this video, this would mean so much to me. So please feel free to do that because I do weekly video, a new video every single Sunday. Almost on time, which is 8pm. <laughs> on this, see you next week guys, take care.